In today's video, we're talking about how to get the perfect exposure using a gray card. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're talking about how to get the perfect exposure and we're gonna do it using a gray card. Now, when you think of a gray card, you're probably thinking of something that you use to correct your white balance. Um, now that's probably the number one reason why anyone would wanna use a gray card. But uh, when it comes to gray cards, they come in two forms. First, you've got your, uh, your neutral gray, which is your, uh, your gray card that you use Specifically for that, you're correcting your white balance or you set the white balance of your camera. And then you've got this other type of gray card, which is this one here. This is referred to as a, an 18% gray card. And this is a little bit different. You can also use this for um, correcting your white balance, but it's also a really good way for you to make sure that on your camera, you're actually capturing the perfect exposure. Now, most people will tell you that this is useful if you're shooting with a DSLR or a film camera, uh, but not so much with a mirrorless camera. And I'll argue that it, there's still some value in using an 18% gray card even on a mirrorless camera. So the argument is that because you're looking through the viewfinder, you can see exactly what the exposure is going to look like. The thing is that just because an exposure looks good on the viewfinder, it doesn't mean that you're shooting for the edit. So when you get back into uh, to your computer and you're trying to edit the image, you need to get a technically good exposure. Not one that looks good, but one that's technically good. One that's going to give you the most um, access to the shadows and the most access into the highlights so that you can control them and really come up with a really good edit. So regardless of what camera system you're using, I think it's really important to uh, capture a technically correct photograph if you're going to be pushing it a lot during your edit so that you're starting off with the best uh, the best file possible that you can push as far as you can. Now, when, um, when we're looking to create a, uh, a technically correct photograph, the, the most reliable way to do this is you can use the camera, the lighting system or the light meter inside of your camera, or you can use something like this, which is, uh, this is just a light meter. So similar to the one that you've got in your camera, uh, but uh, one would argue a little bit more accurate. Now you don't see these very much because like, uh, most cameras will have one of these built into them. And a lot of people argue that these are irrelevant. I don't think they're irrelevant. In fact, there is one very important thing that this light meter does that uh, cameras can't do still. Uh, but we'll get into that in another video. If you guys are interested, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll do a whole uh, video on light meters. The thing about light meters is that they are expensive. Um, so another option that you have is the 18% gray card. Uh, now these, uh, I like this one here because number one, it's big and I'll explain why that's important in a second. You've got two sides, you've got the white side as well, which can help with your uh, white balance, although you can use both sides uh, to correct the white balance. But the other reason why I like this one is that it, uh, it folds up nice and small. So it's like a little mini uh, pop-up reflector. Okay, so that is really easy to travel with. But this here is, uh, this is an 18% gray. So it's a very specific shade of gray. And this is something that the camera looks for when it's trying to take an exposure, when you take a photograph. So it will try to look for this specific, this specific shade uh, of brightness so that you can set the camera to the middle. Now, a lot of the times you can't find that. And what it does is it does an average between the brightest thing and the darkest thing that you can see. And it comes up with an average or somewhere in the middle, which is about 50%. Uh, and that, that 50% equates to this particular color here, which is referred to as an 18%. Uh, gray. So don't get mixed up with the 50% and the 18%. The 18% just simply refers to a particular color shade. Uh, this is going to, the camera's going to see this as in the middle of the frame. So it is configured already to look for this particular brightness. And so if it's looking for this, then you, you can help the camera out by providing this as a target. So it acts as a calibration tool to be able to set your camera so that it can capture a correct exposure. Now don't get confused by any of that stuff. That's all the technical jargon, uh, sort of the, the, how it works in the background. But I'm gonna show you how to use this. It's super simple, how to use one of these to take a photograph when you are in challenging conditions. Now what I've got here is, I've got a situation that I've set up in here. I've got a dark room 
with a very bright window and I'm going to show you what happens when I take a photograph using just the normal light meter in the camera. Okay, so let me show you how to use the 18% gray card to get uh, a correct exposure. So what I've got here is I've got this speaker and uh, behind that is a really bright window and I specifically chose this black speaker to try and confuse it a little bit more so that there's more contrast. So what I've got is I've got a camera here set to AV, everything set to automatic here. So all I'm gonna do is um, I've, got, I've got it on AV mode at F8 and I'm just gonna take a photo and just use the internal light meter of the camera. So when I take the photo, what I get is I get a shot that says, uh, let me bring that up. So it thinks I should be shooting at one, uh, one twenty-fifth of a second at F8. But as you can see from the photograph, the speaker is, it's, it's just too dark. So it's trying to compensate for all of that really bright light coming in through the window. And so it's closing down and darkening the shot uh, because it thinks that that is what it needs to do. So what we're gonna do now, because that is wrong, we're going to switch over to manual mode. But before we do that, we're gonna grab our gray card and we're gonna take a shot of the gray card in place of the product, okay? So if you're out shooting portraits in, in, in normal ambient light, um, this is uh, what you would use. So you would take a picture of this first and calibrate your camera to this, and then you can continue shooting uh, your subject. Now, if the lighting changes, you need to do this again, okay? So every time that the lighting changes, you're gonna get a new, uh, different numbers. So just be aware of that. So let me show you how to do this. All I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a picture of this, okay? I'm gonna place it where my, uh, where my product is. That way, it picks up the same light that it's currently picking up. So all I'm gonna do is take a picture of it. And it's really important to try to fill the frame with as much gray as possible, all of it if you can. Uh, it doesn't matter whether the picture is blurry, it's not about that, it's about how much light is bouncing off this uh, gray card back into the camera. So all I'm gonna do is and I'm gonna take another picture, okay? Okay, and you probably heard it, it's a lot slower than the shot we did before. In fact, it's saying that it needs to be um, one fifth of a second, okay? So uh, what I'm gonna do is, so I've just reviewed the photograph that I've taken and it's saying that that shot there, it needed one fifth of a second at F8 in order to take that shot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to manual mode now and I'm gonna to go to one fifth of a second, I'm gonna shoot at F8, and I'm just gonna take the same photograph. Okay, and that has worked great, and as you can see, there's still a little bit of flare coming in through the back of the window, but that's just flare to the lens, um, which is, you know, that's complete, something completely different, but if you're looking at a photograph um, of the speaker, then this is correctly lit for the speaker, okay? So that is what we're trying to do. We're trying to um, override the camera's light sensor so that we can tell it what the correct settings are so that we can get an exposure of what it is that we're trying to get an exposure of and a correct exposure. So again, all you gotta do is uh, go to AV mode or any, any sort of mode really, take a picture of your, uh, your gray card, fill the frame with it, have a look at what settings the camera needed to, 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 uh, to set itself to in order to take a picture of this in automatic mode, and then use those settings in manual mode to be able to then get exactly the same type of exposures. Again, as long as the lighting doesn't change, then all of this, those exposures are going to be correctly exposed. So I hope that that was helpful and you were able to follow along. If you did like the video, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, if you do have any questions though, leave them in the comment section below. That's the best place to get in touch with me. Otherwise, of course, you can reach me through any of the usual social media platforms and you're gonna find all the links in the description below. Again, please don't forget to like the video. I wanna thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.